So today we're going to talk about scalar and vector projections. So I want to put this into a certain context in regards to light and shadow. So in this diagram we have two vectors. I'm going to call the top vector the T for top vector and imagine the ground. I'll call it the ground vector. So there's two vectors with a certain angle in between them. We don't care, we don't know what it is. Now imagine there is a light all right, being shone down at the ground. So this light is actually perpendicular. The, the rays are going perpendicular to the ground. So imagine there's like going down, but the light's gonna go everywhere down. So imagine, uh, so light is exposed to everywhere on the vector except for a certain spot. So imagine, imagine the area of where this light is not exposed to. So it's supposed to this vector because light is always shining everywhere, is exposed to this area. The area that it's not, the light is not exposed to is from here to here, right there. I'm going to stop right there, all right, because anything past here, the light is going to get exposed to, all right, the ground is going to get exposed to. So what here, what I'm drawing here right now is the vector projection. So what it looks like on paper is I'm drawing the projection vector, okay? Now there's going to be two parts to this, all right? The bottom subscript part is the ground vector. The reason why is because the vector that we're drawing is along the ground vector or the G vector. And the thing that's creating the shadow, all right, is the top vector. Okay, now that's the vector. As you can see, this blue vector here, the vector projection, it's collinear to the ground vector. So these two vectors are, are parallel, okay? Uh, what scalar means is the following. Scalar is pretty much the magnitude, the length of this vector here. So in this particular example, we have a different type. So the vectors are kind of different from before. They're tilted, they're a little bit different, and the situation has changed. So right now, um, the light is being shone on this vector. So let's call this vector A. And this is B, all right? So what I want to draw is the following. I want to draw a projection of B on A, all right? So what does this mean? So it, basically, you're going to be drawing a vector uh, parallel or collinear to A. So what that means is the light, all right, it's coming from here, and it's shining 90 degrees to the A vector. So imagine here is 90 degrees and 90 degrees. So the, the, there's light shining. Now the question is, which area along the A vector will the light be not exposed? But keep in mind, there is a B vector in the way. So imagine the light shining, shining, shining. So Imagine shining, 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 so it's not exposed. So basically, light is going at 90 degrees to the ground. So this area will be exposed until you get to the edge of this vector here. So over here, anything past here, this area underneath here, this area here will not be exposed. All right. What I'm drawing right now is the scalar projection. So this is the length of this. But in order to me for it to change it to a scalar to vector, I'm going to draw a be beginning of the arrow to the end. So this area here is called the scalar projection of B on A. And if you noticed here, what you will form is a right angle triangle, okay? So here's another example. So we have two vectors and they're identical. So let's call the top one A and the top one, bottom one B. So they're both in the same vectors. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna draw the following projection of a on B. Whereas this one, I'm going to be drawing projection of B on A. So there's, it's going to look different. So for the first example over here, so projection on B, of A on B. So basically you know that the vector is going to be starting from here to here, somewhere along B. The question is, well, how, how are you going to draw this? So what I usually like to do, so imagine a light, I'm going to rotate this, it's going to be shining down on B. So over here, it's sort of like perpendicular, all right? So imagine it's shining on B, but the thing is, there's this A vector in the way. So we're gonna color the position where the light is not exposed. So anything underneath A is pretty much not exposed over here. That's under A, under A, under A. But keep in mind, there's actually more area because this, the, the A vector is longer than the B vector. So actually, even if I extend this, this part here is also not exposed to the light. So in this case, the vector is a little bit longer. So the vector I'm drawing over here is slightly, slightly longer than the vector B. But nevertheless, this red vector or the projection vector is still collinear to B, all right? 
and if I again if I take this basically we're going to that means the, the magnitude of this vector now over here it's slightly different okay so we want the projection of B on A so we know somewhere that the vector is going to be along here all right but what I would like to put it as is imagine there's a light I'm going to be flashing it perpendicular to the ground the A vector the bottom vector the bottom vector so here's the ground let's make it 90 degrees so you ask yourself is if there's light shining this direction Imagine light shining this direction. The question is, where is it not going to be exposed? All right. So as you can see, it's going to be exposed here. But anything underneath here, underneath the B vector, is not exposed right up into the tip right there. So what I'm drawing right now is a vector which is parallel or collinear to the vector A. And this is what I'm drawing. And the magnitude of this is still a scalar. Okay. In the previous couple of examples, the angles between the two vectors were acute. They were both less than 90 degrees. Now sometimes you might have angles which are obtuse, more than 90 degrees. So what happens? Um, it's still the same idea. So let's choose this vector to call the A vector. This is the B vector. All right. So what I want to draw is projection of A along B. All right. So this is the vector I'm going to draw. Now so imagine shining down on B. So here's the B vector. They're, they're kind of perpendicular. So imagine the light perpendicular and the light is up here and it's shining. So the question is, it's shining down, it's shining down, it's shining down, it's shining down. So we don't really care about this. But if you notice here, you move the light along here. Imagine the light was everywhere. So down, shining down, shining down. If you notice here, the light's going to be exposed except for anywhere underneath this vector here. So the area which is not affected is going to be this. So tip of the, this area, so as you can see, I'm creating a right angle triangle, all right? And this one I'm drawing is the projection of A on B. If you notice here, this vector is going in the opposite direction to B, but nevertheless, it is still collinear, okay? So the next example is exactly the same. So here's A and here's B, but we're going to switch it up. We're going to find the projection of the of other way. So imagine you have projection of A, sorry, B on A. So basically, you know that you're going to be drawing a vector which is collinear to A. So somewhere along here. So I'm going to flashlight and flash it 90 degrees to A. So imagine this is 90 degrees. So over here, it looks 90 degrees. All right. So here's a light and it's flashing down. So imagine the rays are flashing down. What area is not exposed? So here is exposed, 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 until you get up to here. So imagine these rays are going down. And then if you notice here, anything underneath the B vector is not exposed. So imagine from here all the way up to here, this thing that I'm drawing up until the tip. So over here, I'm not going to draw past the tip. So this, this thing I'm drawing is the scalar projection. It's the length of this. But I'm going to put an arrow here just to make it a vector. And as you can see, this green vector I'm drawing is collinear. It's just going in the opposite direction, and it is, I don't know, shorter, a fraction shorter than the A vector. So the key thing right now is this vector that we're drawing is collinear to the bottom vector always. Whether it's opposite or going the same direction, it depends on the angle between the vectors B and A. So hopefully by now you have printed off on my class this file. It has six pictures and basically what I want you guys to do is practice drawing. So you can pause this video because after 10 seconds um, you will see the answers. So have a chance to draw the vectors and then compare with the answers after. So now's a good time to pause. So this slide shows the answer. Uh, I'm not going to go thoroughly through it, but in each particular question, I put the flashlight perpendicular to the bottom vector. So as you can see, this is perpendicular to the A vector. This over here, this is perpendicular to the B vector because the bottom vector. Same thing for here, this is perpendicular. The flashlight is flashing this way, perpendicular to the A vector. This over here, the bottom vector is B, so the light has to flash down, so it's perpendicular. So if you can imagine the light facing a certain direction, um, the, 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 the green arrow pretty much indicates the area where on the vector, the bottom vector, where the light is not exposed. So right now is a good time to pause and compare your answers, and we will take it up tomorrow if there's any questions. 
So ultimately, if after you feel comfortable practicing drawing scalar projections and vector projections, the grand finale is the following. So this is what we'll be doing tomorrow or the following day. So we are actually going to calculate the Cartesian form or the component form for the vector, and we're going to calculate the magnitude. So here's a question which you should go home and think about, or actually think about right now. So imagine the top vector. Well, I'm going to give you the component form, 3, 4. If you want, you can graph it on a grid paper just to make it more accurate. Uh, the ground vector, we'll call this A vector and B vector. All right, B vector. And the idea is I want to draw the scalar projection of the following. So draw the projection of A on B. So over here, I gave you the answer already. So as you can see, imagine the flashlight going down, but the vector A is blocking part of B, and this area here, the red part, is the unexposed. And this is what I want for you guys to attempt. Uh, is it possible, yes it is, for you to calculate the magnitude of this? After you find the magnitude, can you calculate what the component form of this vector is?